Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, Method and Apparatus for Producing Nuclear Fusion Reactions, by Yuxan Dumeja, Entrepreneur, India. This article will provide the basis for the manufacture of internal electrostatic confinement type fusion devices. The Farnsworth Hirsch Fuser and the related Hirsch Meeks Fuser are fusion reactor designs based on the principles of inertial electrostatic confinement, that is, the use of electrostatic potential to confine the fuel. This fusion technology is in contrast to other methods of confinement, such as inertial, magnetic and gravitational such as fusion in stars. Its function can best be described as a spherical, electrostatic, particle accelerator. It is through this acceleration that the charged particles gain enough energy to collide in a fusion reaction. The device consists of a vacuum chamber containing two electrodes, usually arranged as concentric spheres. The inner electrode grid is charged negatively with high voltage transformers and the outer electrode grid is grounded to provide a reference voltage for the negatively charged inner grid. The immense differences in charges between the two electrodes create a powerful electric field that ionizes the gas in the chamber. The negatively charged electrons are repelled by the deeply negative potential of the inner cathode and are carried to the region of lower potential once they are ionized by the outer grid. The remaining positively charged ions are attracted by the deeply negative cathode and accelerate towards the center. The inner electrode, constructed as an empty grid and not a solid sphere, allows the positive ion to accelerate past the inner grid towards the center point of the chamber. The strong electrical field, being spherical, accelerates ions towards the center from all radial points on the sphere, and as the positive ions reach the center point of the chamber, they collide into ions racing down towards the center from the opposite side of the sphere. Their combined kinetic energy is enough to overcome the repulsive nature of the Coulomb barrier and create a fusion reaction. Multiple theoretical concepts are required to fully understand the operation of the fuser. In order to create a plasma, ions must be trapped inside the cathode grid. Therefore, an understanding of the potential well is needed in order to describe how the ions are contained. The size and shape of the potential well varies with the ion current in the region. Once a plasma is created, it must be maintained. Therefore, how the plasma reacts to and moves in the electric field must be known in order to maintain a stable plasma. Purpose, a Farnsworth-style fuser, using the process of inertial electrostatic confinement, will be used to ionize trace hydrogen atoms found in the atmosphere inside of a container under vacuum. These ionized atoms will continuously accelerate towards a center anode charged by a 15 kV transformer. The accelerating ions will, in theory, fuse creating an unstable helium isotope which will stabilize itself by releasing energy in either the form of a proton, neutron, or gamma rays. Photon radiation produced by the fuser, the photon radiation power is measured for hydrogen and deuterium plasmas at different power settings of the fuser. By comparing the radiation power measured of hydrogen and deuterium it is shown that the high energy protons produced in a deuterium plasma have a negligible contribution to the radiation power. This result is according to the model. The radiation power predicted by the model is below background levels up to theoretical voltages across the fuser of 55 kV. X radiation escape, gamma rays in the energy region below 200 kilo electron volts are detected almost entirely by the photoelectric process. The ejection of a photoelectron from the K-shell of an atom is followed by the emission of characteristic X-rays. The probability for X-ray escape may be calculated as a function of energy and geometry or may be determined experimentally. Thermalization of the ion velocities, when they first fall into the center of the fuser, the ions will all have the same energy, but the velocity distribution will rapidly approach a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. This would occur through simple Coulomb collisions in a matter of milliseconds, but beam-beam instabilities will occur orders of magnitude faster still. In comparison, any given ion will require a few minutes before undergoing a fusion reaction, so the non-energetic picture of the fuser, at least for power production, is not appropriate. 
one consequence of the thermalization is that some of the ions will gain enough energy to leave the potential well, taking their energy with them, without having undergone a fusion reaction. Power density, because the electric field made by the cages is negative, it cannot simultaneously trap both positively charged ions and negative electrons. Hence, there must be some regions of charge accumulation, which will result in an upper limit on the achievable density. This could place an upper limit on the machine's power density, which may keep it too low for power production. Modes of operation, Farnsworth Hirsch fuser during operation in so-called star mode characterized by rays of glowing plasma which appear to emanate from the gaps in the inner grid. Fusers have at least two modes of operation, possibly more, star mode and halo mode. Halo mode is characterized by a broad symmetric glow, with one or two electron beams exiting the structure. There is little fusion. The halo mode occurs in higher pressure tanks, and as the vacuum improves, the device transitions to star mode. Star mode appears as bright beams of light emanating from the device center. Conclusions, he hopes to confirm predictions that the fuser will produce trace amounts of radiation as an effective example of a small-scale nuclear fusion device. The device will certainly not produce any positive net energy, a state which has become the goal of multiple fusion research laboratories worldwide using exponentially higher power concepts of the fuser's fundamental nuclear fusion method. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.